Right. What's up? Welcome to the another episode. I'm just in the co-working space. I want to try something different because yeah, there was a lot of options, you know, a lot of people where I live. So but yeah, what I want to talk to you about today is basically uh, just being aware of <clears throat> your time, right? Because your time is the most important part, right? So yeah, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about time management and how to keep your mind uh, unaltered in situations, right? Because we allow people to steal our freedom, especially our our mind, right? Like if somebody pushes us, we push back. But when somebody is challenging us, our mind, uh, they leave it. We get angry, we get sad, we get emotional because we don't have the mindset set right, right? So for example, like if you get thrown in prison, if you get, if you get abducted or whatever, the one thing you can always do is control is your mind, right? Your body doesn't really matter because you can go through everything if you have your mindset set right. Because you can fall into the pits of everything if your mindset is not set in the right place, right? So, like for example, we protect our physical selves. We don't let people touch us, push us around, control where we go, but when it comes to the mind, <laughs> we're less disciplined. We hand it over willingly to social media, to television, to what other people are doing, thinking or saying. We sit down at work <laughs> and the next thing you know, we're browsing the internet. We sit down with our families, but within minutes, we have our phones out. We sit down peacefully in the park, but instead of looking inward, we're judging people as they pass by, right? We don't even know what we're doing, right? It just makes us, we don't even know what we're doing this. Like, we, we don't realize how much wasted is, it, is, in, is in it, how ineffective, how distracted it makes us. And what's worse, no one is making this happen. It's totally self-inflicted, right? To the Stoics, this is abomination. <laughs> they know that the world can control our bodies we can be thrown in jail or tossed about by the weather, but the mind, that's ours. We must protect it, maintain control over the mind and the perceptions that say it's the most prized. So the mindset is everything, boys. So now let's talk about this in the modern times, <clears throat> right? I actually just re was reading out of like, uh, I wrote some down because yeah, I read, uh, I read some books daily as you know, guys know so for time management let's just talk about like, don't give away your freedom we need to protect our our mind not just our physical self right you gotta protect the mind because the mind controls everything every single little thing in your life is comes from here so the mind is the most powerful in the world right that's it's just your, it's, it's the only thing you can control 100 percent your mind so, we protect our physical selves, but never the mind. So, we need to control the mind and focus on what we can control, right? I can control my movements, you know, but I can't control if something happens to me, somebody decides to rob me, somebody decides to hurt me, somebody decides to do anything, right? But what I can't do is just, ah, I'm not gonna let it bother me. But then, it doesn't bother me, right? Like, if, if somebody's trying to give you bad news and you never receive the bad news, did it really happen? No, right? So, <laughs> let's jump on to time management. So, I'm gonna take a little bit of like, this is just too important, like, don't give away your freedom, right? So, time management, outsource when possible. I'm talking <clears throat> social media, uh, like for businesses, social media, customer services, backend, emailing, cold calls, whatever takes up the most, most of your time, try to outsource it. And focus on the 20%, not the 80%, right? Because 20% of the work produces 80% of the soft, right? 
So start trusting people more. If you're outsourcing, let them, uh, just give them a little bit of SOPs, standard operations, procedures, and let's let them be the judge of, just give them like, let's say for example, it, doesn't, it only costs like 20 bucks to make, to write this mistake. Let's say some customer is not happy with the product. So instead of the customer service coming and asking you, just give them a leeway, like 50, 20 or 50 bucks. So if, if, if the problem does, is not gonna cost us more than 20 or 50 bucks, then just do what you think is right. Give, give them the control of, right? And if they make a mistake, you just deal with it as you go. But giving people more, giving people more responsibility usually and more freedom because you are allowing them to choose what they do. You're trusting them. You're trusting them with the task. And I think that's really important in today's world because nobody's trust nobody, you know? So also start yeah, trusting people more, start doing similar things in batches. Like don't outsource everything yet, but emails, calls, all that. Do it in batches. Like for example, let's say if you need to check your email, just check your email two, twice a week. Because it doesn't really matter, like say for example, somebody sends you an email and you get a thing on your web phone, why, why check it immediately? Then you reply immediately and they get back to you in three days. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> just, just focus on this, right? Like in, as well, like if you're taking meetings or one-on-one -on -one calls or whatever, try to focus, try to shut down like the structure of how the meeting is gonna be before going in and give yourself no more than 30 minutes then you walk out because 30 minutes is all it takes. If you're not in a meeting, if you're in a meeting that takes over 30 minutes and you're not talking about the project or whatever, then you're fucked because people are just talking about their daily lives and you don't want any of that because that's time waster for sure. So I'm just gonna keep it short for now, but I really like talking about this. Like don't give away your freedom, protect your physical self and protect the mind, boys. All right, Kauri, out. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.